Sparked by tragedy in Connecticut, law enforcement and school districts are focused on security. News 13's John Lee is live from Coons Intermediate School with this developing story. John Asheville and Buncombe leaders are taking a good look at safety in schools. The death toll in Newtown has communities across America doing the very same thing. It's a big deterrent for crime and for violent crimes. At schools like Asheville Middle, they help keep the peace and give parents peace of mind. We'll get a fight or um, somebody might have a weapon on campus. SRO um, Joe Jonesby. We deal with larcenies, assaults, um, communicating threats. Uh, bullying right now is the big thing that we are campaigning against. But Jones says his job is a carefully cultivated relationship. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, Pope, I thought you were going to come holler at me. When? Jones is with another officer, Jason Gull, who usually covers elementary schools, together today. I think uh, the difference is uh, the kids can see us and interact with us to, to let them know that, hey, we aren't bad guys. We're, we're here to help you. The killings in Newtown now make communities across the country ponder beefing up security. Mayor Terry Bellamy says every aspect of school safety is being looked at. As a mom, having three kids who are in city schools and who I send off in the mornings to go off school, I want to make sure that they're safe. Asheville City Schools would need to hire up to five more officers to cover every campus. An estimated $60,000 a year per officer, a total of nearly $300,000 annually. Mayor Bellamy says local agencies will consider those options. Our school superintendents and our First responders, they already have a plan and they're looking to reevaluate the plan to ensure it's the best. Officers like Jones and Gall give us a sense of how extra manpower could help. It gives you a more of a sense of security knowing that you have a police officer in your school. Although there are no guarantees, more officers would prevent a massacre like the one we saw in Connecticut. To say I would have done something different, I, I can't answer that question. So local leaders reevaluating those safety plans. And by the way, at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow here and across the nation, a moment of silence to remember those victims in Connecticut. In Asheville, I'm John Lee, News 13.